What's up guys? It's King Daddy D Mac and welcome back to another episode of Fade the Beast on the Hermitcraft server I'm playing with the ultimate pack and yeah, we're kind of continuing where we left off from last episode. Um real quick, I kind of like to try and craft something fun new every episode and I wanted to take a look at the nano saver. I really want that Vadra, but we're not quite there yet. So why don't we make this? This and probably would never use the nano saber again once we have that. So why don't we go ahead and craft this? Not too bad. Two iridium plates, two shiny ingot or platinum, two energy flow circuits, and a lapatron crystal. So let's get to work. Lapatron crystal, two energy flow circuits. All right, let's go grab some platinum. Let's see, one, two, and iridium plates. Let's see, where do we have those? I think I got it. Bam, look at all that stuff. One, two. All right, so that should be everything. Let's just find an empty, do we have any project tables down here? Nope, let's go back upstairs. Let's go back up, okay. So I think it was something along the lines of maybe that sweet nano saber thank god i think this does something like 10 hearts to any mob that you hit or player maybe if they're not wearing armor it's pretty close to an insta kill it might even be more than that don't quote me but it's pretty neat we had one on the old server but this is our first one on this server and all you got to do right click and bam look at that sucker freaking awesome i love it i love it let's go find some mobs that we can massacre with this guy where are you where are you and this is good we're gonna head down into the basement anyway into a little factory i started testing out a couple things but we'll take a look at that in just a second where's a mob i know there's got to be one around here somewhere come on guy come out come out of here Come on, guys. All right. Looks like people are shy. We're going to have to go hunting. So I'll be right back while we hunt someone down. You know what? I didn't realize it was nighttime out, so those caves just weren't cutting it. Let's run outside. There we go. There's a little sucker. Come here, buddy. Let's see how you do. Are you Oko? One hit kill? Oh, you know you like that. Let's find another guy. This thing's fun. How about you? You want to kill? Hot oh, one, two. All right. Ooh, that was one hit. Let's see how these guys are. All right, you. One. Two. All right, not so bad. This thing is pretty dang nifty. Ooh, take it. Okay. I think we're good. That's enough testing. Anyway, let's head down to a little factory thing and let's get back to work. All right, so here we are. This is where we left off last time. And we pretty much, last time, as you know, we just set up these two routers right here. This one to extract the redstone coming out of our ender chest. And so it goes boom, and then this one ejects it up to this guy. And then it is inserting into all the centrifuges. Now I did find out something cool, which I probably got comments about, but I took off the bandwidth setting, which would normally put in a full stack. If you take that off and then put in the item filter, the exact number that you want. So in this case, I put 10 because when in a centrifuge, it only requires 10 redstone per cycle. So I didn't want a whole bunch of redstone just sitting in there for no reason when we could be using it elsewhere. And basically when I do this, it is going to fill it with exactly 10. Perfect. And it does it across the entire system. So that was pretty neat. And you can, with any of these, if you just press delete, you're able to remove that particular upgrade. So pretty cool. Anyway, we got a full stack going in there. So, we got this slot taken care of. Next, we have to deal with 
the cells. I think the cells are inserted from the bottom. So I got this bad boy right here. And this one is going to insert. So we need to do a machine filter. You know what? I could probably adjust this now. So let's do this insert into slot zero, insert to bottom. Cool. So let's check this out. If this works, boom. And that is good. Inserting it into the right one. Oh, darn it. Darn it. Darn it. Okay. You know what? Let's extract. Let's extract. Get all of those back. So we've got to put a machine filter on now. Otherwise, it's going to put it into everything. Disk drive, just everything in the system. All right. So that should be... Oh, no. All right, so right now that's extracting from, stop it, damn it. <laughs> so we're going to have a couple of them probably that got redstone stuck in there. Anyway, let's get this fixed. These things kind of frustrate me, but let's get the machine filter on. So boom, and let's quickly change this to only industrial centrifuges. There we go. Awesome. So now that's handled. We're going to do the same thing now with the item filter. And if I remember correctly, it was four that you needed in there. So let's switch over. We're going to change this to only cells and go one, two, three, four. Cool. Um, other upgrades, I think the speed could be helpful. Again, still not sure, but I'm recording this right after the last episode. Um, don't need ejector. Thoroughness. Yes, we wanted thoroughness. Okay, bandwidth. No. An ejector. No. All right, so we're all good for that one. And unfortunately, this sometimes will clog up the system if we have weird items in places that we don't want them. So I may have to go hunting through every freaking one. God, these drive me nuts sometimes. All right, so we got that handled. That is now going to insert the cells. So let's... Everything is good. Speed boost, thoroughness, bottom sides. So let's try this out again. Let's throw the cells back in. It's inserting up to four. Uh, okay, so it's on that one right now. Four. And this is kind of interesting. This one's working from the other side because those are the closest ones in the network. So another thing to take note and see there we ran out of cells so it's not able to complete the rest of them and that is actually something very important to take note of I may end up wanting to move this router over here so it starts in this side because if we only had enough cells to start a couple on that side and then the redstone a couple on this side the system would end up not working so there are some limitations with the routers but what the heck we'll deal with it we'll deal with it now, how are these guys doing? Now, these guys are going to be the ones pulling out of the system. Now, again, in this recipe with the redstone, in there, we're getting four different items. And those four different items are mercury, the ruby, which is the real thing we want, pyrite, which can be turned into iron and sulfur, I believe, and then silicon, which is also helpful, that can be turned into those... Uh, silicon plates which are used for all sorts of good stuff so for these I wanted to have a different router for each one just because and these are all going to extract from the oh, which side is it you know what this might be easier slot one slot two I think it was slot two that we wanted let's find out extract if it doesn't okay that's not what we want so let's insert that so maybe it was to anywhere no oh you know what this again you see i did it again i did it freaking again that is not what we want let's which one are we looking at it was this one let's knock this guy back out it's just so he resets First things first, we got to put on those dang machine filters. Okay, so 
get the machine filter. And we're going to do item filter too, but first machine. Okay. So put the machine filter. I'm just going to put the machine filter on all of these so I don't forget once again. And let's set these all to industrial centrifuge. Oh, no, no, no. Industrial centrifuge. And industrial centrifuge. Okay. These are all right now on insert. We're going to want to change that to extract in a moment. Okay, so now let me try that same thing. I'm pretty sure now that it would have been correct because we want to pull out of those sides. Any one of these would probably work, the east or west. But I think I'm going to go with the slot number. And again, I'm pretty sure it was two because I think zero was here. I think zero, one, two. I think that's how it worked. Let's pull that back out. Let's find out. So if this is on slot two, pulling out, nope, wrong slot. Let's change it to slot three. No. It's this one. Okay, I think that now is correct. Just to check, we're going to insert something into slot three. So insert. To anywhere into slot three and if we throw gotta throw something we have a lot of let's go grab something use these guys again so this one's extracting from slot three this one's going to insert into slot three so let's throw that in let's just find out if that's working good let's change that back to extract Yank these suckers out of here. And that is a full stack. Good. So we're all good there on those two. Let's change these ones also to that slot three and extract. Three, extract, and where are you? One, two, three. Perfect. And that's extract. Extract. Good. And why is that taking redstone now? That shouldn't have happened. I might have stuck that in there. All right. So that all being said, let's see what the other ones. We're going to want eject on all these so that we can eject them. And let's go boom, boom. Boom, boom, and these are going to eject once again. Let me just check what, oh, we don't have that other thing. I think this, it was opposite, so I think that's to the west side. So let's change all those. Eject to bottom. Eject to the south, north, east, west. So let's just test this real quick. Okay, eject to the west. All right, good. So all these should be eject to the west. Eject west. Again. West. Eject. West. Nice. Okay. So we're all set on that. Um, we can use probably the speed once again on all of them. Why the heck not? I really got to find out exactly what this is doing. Okay. And we want to have item filter. Yes. And this is where we're going to set the exact item that's pulling out. And there's four different things. So let's get the four different things ready. Let's do Chrome, or not Chrome, Ruby. Let 
let's stick Ruby right there. Oh, where's item filter? Okay, so we have Ruby. Here we are going to have, let's see, Ruby, Silicon, Mercury, and I know this probably isn't good that I'm doing these whole stack sizes, but if I have a full stack, I'm going to use it. Ruby, Mercury, and then Pyrite is the final one. Cool. Now we have the relays. Now the only reason I could have done, probably done this all into one relay or two relays right here, the only reason I'm going to do one for each is just because these are all going to start at the same time or close to the same time, assuming that they're able to fill themselves with the redstone while the cycles are going. Now that being said, they're all going to eject a crap ton of materials at a time. So in fact, this may not even be enough space. So when I go like this, just let's take a look. Each one of these only have a nine inventory. So it probably will be enough, but if I start adding much, much more of these into the system, it might not. Now let's put on the pneumatic tubes. And these can then all just connect together. And I haven't decided yet how I'm going to do this if I want to do it by an item tesseract, which I know these guys can't directly connect into an item tesseract, but I could, I think, put one at the end and have each item have their own. So that's a possibility. That is a possibility. But for now, we're just going to mainly have this for testing purposes. We, I think, are just going to have a diamond chest. Cool. So now, why don't we try and test this? Let me see, how could, oh, how could we test this easy? I think it's going to have to be done by adding another router. So just for now, let's stick another router here. And we're going to have it do insert into slot three to anywhere. And do slot three okay because we're pulling from slot three and then let's put on the machine filter so it's only going to insert to these guys once again so i know it's a lot of stuff that we're doing with routers and a little boring but i've done a lot of my other sorting stuff off camera so i thought we should at least get this project done on camera all right so that's good so that that was all set now yeah we got to set this to industrial centrifuge cool so i guess let's test this out let's see what happens i'm going to throw in i put in almost a stack of everything else let's throw a silicon cell in all right so it popped out and are we going to see it go into here no so why did it not go in should be in one of the relays unless we have it sending out the wrong way these are supposed to be pulling. Oh, we got a silicon cell in there. Okay. So it did go to there. So the problem is it's not ejecting to the correct side. So let's change the side. Eject to west. Let's just take that out. Eject to bottom. Now let's try eject to east. Okay. Did it go? It went, and this, I, th where'd it go? Where you go? Did you get into here? No, where did you go? No, that's not good. So that was the right way. All right, so let's change it back to west. Let's try it again. Huh. That's interesting. Maybe these are facing the wrong way. What happens when we put something in here? Boom. Okay. I think that's it. I think that's it. Yep. I'm a derp. Let's switch these around. There we go. Okay. 
awesome progress is being made so let's just try that one last time and let's insert into there boom and in perfect perfect okay so now we can take you out. I could test all the, do I, I don't have excess. I think we should be all set. I think that would just be spinning our wheels to test even more. So let's start to get ready for the next stage. All right, guys, so our next stage is how are we gonna supply this stinker with cells? Let me just make sure, yeah. So we, we got the redstone coming in. Next, we gotta get the cells coming in. Um, I may end up making something that creates tin and creates cells for this system, but for now I think we're going to want to recycle it back from upstairs, and this is going to be kind of a long haul. Um, I'm guessing the best bet for now might be just to do it with a manager. Um, I probably could do it with other items too, but I just want to have it linked into the rest of the system real nice and easy. So in order to do that, let's stick a manager here. And the pain in the butt part is we got to provide uh, power for this guy to work. So let's knock this spot out here. Let's throw in the manager. Bam. Let's get him turned the correct way. Let's see, where's my little tool? OK. So that's facing the right way. Let's hop underneath. Now I'm probably going to end up changing these to the higher speed tubes. But for today, let's just deal with the using the normal pneumatic tubes. Since that's what we're already using. And man, I'm going to need a heck of a lot more than this. So let's throw this down. I'll probably end up linking most of the tubes underneath. All right, so we got you. Let's bring you all the way over to where this other thing is. Let's see, these tubes here, I guess we will just want to go, originally, I was going to go straight up. Actually, that will work. So we'll go like this. Oh, that's not matched up right. Oh, well, it's not a game changer I'll fix the aesthetics of it later but okay now that's linked in to the rest of the system there and then this can be what links upwards and that will be a lot easier so for now again let's just leave you there I'll worry about where I'm gonna bring that in as far as the the uh, red power energy that I'm going to bring. We're going to have to get a whole bunch of wire, but I'll just sort of show you the path I'm taking. So here, it's kind of duty here. I may actually dig this down further. Let's see how, what level is this at again? It was 30. Okay, so we probably want to bring it down a little bit below that. So I'll keep on digging down there. But if I go straight up, this is going to cut across right here where we got a whole bunch of batteries coming from outside and then these the same power is providing the power for all these managers here and this manager here so that should be pretty close I can just put in the pipes from down here so that should be pretty good that should work out just fine so I'm gonna take care of that and we will regroup. You know what, guys? I just thought of something that will make this probably incredibly easier. So why don't we try this real quick? Instead of doing pipes all the freaking way down, let's do this by ender chest. So the issue I was, I could have done tesseract, but the problem is I don't think if I had a tesseract down there, it would interact with the system exactly the same. But if we do it this way, we have a manager, okay. And I already set up the ender chests to make our own little system. So let's go boom. Um, let's set this to two and require a 
stack of cells. So that's good. Let me put some empty cells into the system. Because I think we're just about out of them. Okay, so now we got some cells in the system. And let's look in this chest. All right, cool. And it's still gonna bounce around until we get the cells all evened out. Freaking got overflow over here. Just because of the power outage that we witnessed before. The great thing about managers though, don't have to sort them, can just stick them all in. All these are already part of our system. And since we already have the cells in our system, we don't have to set up another manager or anything like that. So let's pop down here. All right, cool. And I think we can probably not, I hate to say it, but not even use a manager right here. So let's just try this without first. I'm gonna pop you off. I'm sorry, buddy. And let's get rid of, let me see. Let's, is this guy pulling from? He's inserting, so we're probably gonna have to do another one of these guys over here. This should work great though. If this works, let's see. Get another router. And this will also even out the look. Let's get a machine filter. Um, item filter. Thoroughness, yeah. No, we don't need thoroughness for this one. Ejector, yes. Speed, why not? And I think bandwidth will want as well, though it's probably not super important. Um, let's get rid of you. I thought I already did that. And pop this sucker here. And let's put down the router. So basically, it's going to do, yeah, I think I already said that, the exact same thing. We want to insert this Oh, this one is going to ex oh crap oh, okay we'll leave that on insert for now but this is going to extract doesn't matter which side all right so that's fine so let's throw on the let's do the item filter it actually doesn't matter which order item filter and machine filter okay so let's set this we already have the ender chest in there so we don't have to worry about that let's put in we want empty cell and this was four yes four no actually this one we can just do the full stack because we already have the other one doing four we want this to visit let's see ender chest good let's throw on the other upgrades so let's throw on speed Let's throw on ejector, because we want this to eject upwards. So, eject, where's eject, eject to bottom, okay. Now eject to top, that's what we want. And this is going to now extract, and I don't think it really matters which side, because you can pull out of any side of a chest. So hopefully this works. Let me just double check. Okay, good. Ender chest. Speed boost. I think we're all good. <laughs> so let's try this. I'm scared. I'm nervous now. Boom. How's that working out? Good. It's going to there. Good. And it's only putting four. Let's see, going all the way around. I think we got it, guys. Oh, yep. See, it went into there. Let's wait for it to go into here. 
awesome. I went through that whole freaking hassle and it ended up being very simple and elegant. All right, well that works. We're probably still to use the managers somewhere else in the system or other red power. So that's not a bad thing that we have this set up. We got to show how it at least works and learned a bit. But yeah, I think that's gonna about do it guys. It is a bit past five in the morning already. So I gotta go to bed. Gonna go see the dentist tomorrow in really, what, like less than eight hours. So anyway, guys, wish me luck. Hope you enjoyed, and we will, I guess, start to get the EU power inserted into these bad boys so they can actually start working come next episode. All right? Later, guys. Peace out.